Hey everybody, I'm Bill and I'm on the water. And I'm here with Ben Johnson. He's the powerboat specialist here at Atlantic Cruising Yachts. Hey guys, how's it going? What do we have here, Ben? Uh, we're on board a 2019 Genoa NC33. It's a new model. Uh, we're on hull number 37, so any issues that might have come up have already been worked out, but uh, we've got a fully enclosed cockpit, just a great cruiser for a long season. So tell me all about Genoa. Well, Genoa is a name that's been around for a long time. They've been manufacturing boats for about 60 years. Uh, they're originally French constructed boats and they've expanded here to the U.S. market. Uh, they've got plants in Marion, South Carolina and Michigan. Um, Genoa uses a process of resin injection, resin infusion. It makes the boats environmentally friendly. You get lower center of gravity, more consistent construction. Uh, just all around a well-built boat. So Ben, what type of power unit do we have here? Uh, we've got Volvo Penta D3 220 diesels, kind of unique in its class. Gives you a lot more efficiency. Um, less volatile, you know, any concerns as far as gas engines occasionally have issues. Uh, diesel is much more reliable, much more longer life. And I'm sure better economy for us. Absolutely, too. much higher uh, efficiency, less fuel burn uh, for the same speed, so better miles per gallon. And that's all throughout the whole line of All boats. the Genos that we bring in are uh, Volvo Penta diesel engines. That's awesome. This one in particular also has joystick control, which is a very nice upgrade around the docks. Joystick control at 33 feet, that's yes, pretty sir. amazing. Yeah. So I noticed, Ben, a lot of glass on this boat, a lot of moving parts, like we got a sunroof, side windows, slider in the back. It's a pretty nice cruiser. Yeah, it's got a lot of good features. Uh, really helps you extend the season. Uh, you can get out earlier in the spring, stay out later in the fall. We've got AC and heat, 28,000 BTU, which is kind of unheard of in a boat this size. Uh, we've got ease of mobility with a captain's door here. Good slide over there, big sunroof, uh, sunshade on one side, bug screen on the other. If you want more of an open air environment, we can do that as well. It does a nice job of enclosing the boat without canvas. Starting at the back of the boat, we've got nice wide access coming into the cockpit from the swim platform. The back seat folds down and creates a large sun lounge. Uh, then you've got great engine bay access to your D3 diesels. And then moving forward, we've got a nice slider that can shift left or right to give you easier access into the cockpit. Tell us all about the interior of this boat, Ben. Sounds good, Bill. So as I was saying, we've got the nice sliding door as you enter. Your galley's gonna be on the starboard side. You've got a twin burner stove, microwave, refrigerator, hand sink. It all actually covers with a uh, fold-up countertop. We've got good storage overhead, storage on low foot cutlery and miscellaneous items that you'd have in a kitchen. Uh, we've also got a nice table that's movable and expands and can go out to the aft cockpit area. Kind of give you a nice dinner under the sun as you move into the evening. That's pretty awesome. And I noticed we have some changeable seats up here in yeah. the cockpit area. So our uh, companion seat here on the port side, uh, right now we have it configured to be facing forward, but it also lays uh, down to face aft, giving you nice L seating here in the, in the cockpit. Now let me tell you all about the helm. We've got a nice Raymarine 9 inch GPS depth finder combo. We've got uh, a wide array of gauges, compass, all your switches for different items on the boat. We've got Lenco trim tabs with LED indicators. We've got the Volvo Penta EVC package so you can get all your fuel burn, RPM, different engine parameters. Likewise, we've got the digital controls start stop switches and of course the joystick which is everybody's favorite feature these days. One other nice thing about the helm seat is your easy access to the starboard walkway. You got a nice companion door that opens up, direct access to your midship cleat, nice high handrail here, keeps you well above and secure in the boat. So Ben, what does the NC33 below deck have to offer us? Uh, Ford, we've got a nice spacious stateroom, good storage underneath the berth, you've got your own AC unit, plenty of natural and indirect lighting, uh, reading lamps as well, just a nice comfortable place to uh, call it a day. So, got a nice spacious head as well? Yeah, uh, with a separate shower wall actually, so you keep the vanity dry uh, when you're showering and uh, yeah, nice lighting in there, good natural lighting, nice port window as well. So. Good uh, ventilation and, and lighting inside the head, too. And I noticed the guests get a little extra space in the aft cabin there. They Lots do, of, yeah. yeah that's uh, pretty spacious. Yeah, uh, you get full six-foot headroom entering the aft cabin, a nice full-size berth, storage bench, and just lots of room down there. So kind of surprising for a 33-footer. So Ben, where's the best place to lounge on this boat in the sun? Well, if it's not the aft sun lounge, it's most likely the bow sun lounge. Uh, it's very spacious. It's got lift-up backrests and seat bottom, so you can kind of sit or lay down, kind of like a chaise lounge feel. So very comfortable up on the bow. I love this Juno you know, product. You know, the enclosure, the sunroof, yeah. all the little details are here and it really shows the quality of Juno, so love it. If you want more information on this boat, I'm gonna put the link for Juno below. I'll also put the link for Atlantic Cruising Yachts. And if you wanna get a hold of Ben, I'll put his email address in there as well. Sure, thank you. <laughs> so for Ben, I'm Bill and we're on the water.
Hey, I really hope you liked today's video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel so you can catch out all the news on boats, yachting, and lifestyle on the water.